Okay, guys, so I literally could not find no parking spots tonight. And and I've it, it has never been this bad where I couldn't find anything, guys. Um I don't even know what to say. So so literally I am like y'all know how y'all see the trucks like parked like on the side of the freaking interstate. I mean, it's it's more trucks that's like lined up too, but it's just like so unsafe to do this shit. And then on top of that, guys, I'm kind of I didn't mean to get so far over there to the to the guardrail. So, and with snow still being on the ground, this is not looking good for your girl. I do got one truck in front of me, so maybe when they move tomorrow. Maybe I'll just be able to just like pull up and go, but it ain't really looking so good for me right now. Like I'm looking stuck. And then I was getting signs saying, Hey, your, um, your clutch is overheating. So I'm like, fuck. Yeah. So, Hey, but I'm only an hour away from my customer. Now I'm wishing I would have just left. Uh, now I'm wishing I would have just left at um, 6 o'clock tomorrow. Well, actually today now. I wish I would have just left at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I would have been good. But at the same time, guys, everything is going to be a learning experience with this job. Everything. Just like any other job, you know, like it's going to be a learning experience. You know, this is going to be something to laugh at one day like i remember when i had to park on the side of the road where i used to tell the other truck drivers like damn why are you guys parking over there it's unsafe but when you don't have a choice you don't got a choice so here i am now i'm parked over here right so that's what we're dealing with right now guys so in my 10 hours my 10 hours is not up until like one o'clock tomorrow so i'm gonna have to be sitting right over here until one o'clock tomorrow it, it means you cannot move guys you can't move and i was going to try to make it to this rest area but i know it was going to be like really really packed over there too so it is what it is guys there's nothing i can do about it you know I'm not going to sit here in fear because I know I am highly protected and I'm not worried about it. It's just a principle though, you know, but you're not going to always be comfortable. So that's another thing too. You're not going to always be comfortable. So I guess in the morning we'll clean up and get our stuff together. Um, something that I really wanted to do today, but hey. And I'm not even going to sleep in the back, guys. I'm not even sleeping back there. I'm going to sleep my behind right here in the front. Make sure my door is locked. Okay. Yeah, make sure my door is locked. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sleeping in the back. I need to sleep right here. That'll make me feel more comfortable. But anyway, I'll see y'all in the morning. Oh, my gosh. Okay, y'all. So, it is the next day. Um, I am still sitting here on the side of the road. Oh my God, that makes me feel so much better that I'm seeing this right now. Okay, so y'all know last night your girl could not find no parking. I could not find no parking last night, y'all. So normally when I'm driving on the interstate, right? I don't know if I said this last night or not, but normally when I'm driving on the interstate, I'm seeing like, like over there, like by the guardrails, like trucks lined the fuck up, right? Excuse my language. I'm trying to stop cursing. And um, I'm seeing them lined up, y'all. And I'm always like, dang, man, they real brave. Like, I could not see myself doing that until I, until I had to do that. Y'all, I had no choice. There was no rest areas available. Um, So I had to pull in, y'all. And then... I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get off the, um, 
I'm, I, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to like pull forward because last night I couldn't, it seemed like I was stuck. So um, I got about 30 more minutes before I'm able to leave. I got my triangles out there right now, right y'all? Because really, ain't nothing wrong with my truck, but I'm like the only truck, I was like the only truck over here um, this morning. At first people was all lined up, right? And I was like the second truck. Now, I'm like the only goddamn going truck over here, right? But I do see two more trucks just kind of, I don't know how long they've been there, but I know they wasn't there hours ago, right? Because it's um it's 930 right now. So I got about 30 more minutes until I'm able to pull off because you guys know. Let me see if I can try to get this little breakdown a little bit, right? So DOT lets you use 14 hours, right? Now, I don't know how it is with other companies or whatever, but I know it's something with 14 hours, right? So in those 14 hours, you can do what you need to do, right? Now, you can only drive 11 hours out of that 14 hours, all right? You following along? So you got 14 hours. Whatever you're doing in that 14 hours, you good. But you got 11 hours in that 14 hours where you can, where you can drive, right? You cannot go over that 11 hours, right? Um, so... The thing is, you got to think about your appointment times and stuff too, right? So I stopped around 12 o'clock last night. So deep, so so what does that mean? Or it might've been like 11. It might've been 11 something when I stopped last night. So anyhow, you got to take a 10 hour break. You got to take a 10 hour break, right? So I had to take my 10 hour break once I stopped. Once you stop, you can't move. You can't move for 10 hours huh so i'm literally over here on the side of the road and i even like i told you i put my triangles up see the truck see now this truck right here they just started to move they were just behind me though but i don't know if y'all can see that can y'all see my triangles back there in my mirror i put my triangles back there i don't know if y'all can see that let me okay so i put my triangles back there right one of them the first triangle further to the back fell but um i basically y'all uh, had to pull over y'all see where i'm at right now on the side of the interstate definitely would not recommend beautiful souls okay i definitely would not recommend this to, for anybody to do this okay it, it is very unsafe to do that um somehow somehow it seems like we started to create our own spots on the side of the road as truck drivers so so right now like i said i got about 27 more minutes now and then i'll be able to pull off so i'm gonna go get my triangles that i never used before um never even seen before now i will say that too that And I'll take responsibility as well, okay? Because I'm grown. But I do feel like in school, they should show you what those triangles look like. See, in my school, they didn't show me what the triangles look like. They ain't even show me how they operate. The only thing they said was, hey, um, these are the triangles. When it's time for you to do your, your, your DMV test, you know, this is where the triangles are going to be at. But I never saw the triangles before, okay? So I had to figure out how to do that. Not that it was hard or anything. But if you never did it before, I mean, you're going to be looking like, well, I'm supposed to do with these. But it wasn't hard. You just kind of clip some things together. I think I did it right. I, I mean, it made the shape of a damn triangle. But, um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to journal and stuff. Say positive things to myself. And I'll be back. the ladder but am i really a giver if i don't give to myself don't take care of my health care for everyone else i usually give away my best but get into this reset get into this reset get into this reset take a skill for up and call the ladder get into this reset yeah i'ma adjust my clock like day 
Like saving snacks, era unlocked And I ain't playing about me You think I'm acting brand new But this was me before you Ain't nothing to start over Hold me on a new vibe She blowin' my high Gotta recalibrate my sunlight Yeah Reset Ain't nothing to start over And past is feeling like a past life Can't believe I saved your heart to break mine You could see I shifted shape to fit yours Can't forget I made the move to move on PCH to the Potomac River Take a break, recalibrate, forgive her Trip the road from Stockton to Stockholm Yeah Peace and grace to travel safe through time zones Just my clock, like day, like saving snacks Era unlocked, and I ain't playing about me You think I'm acting brand new But this was me before you Ain't nothing to start over, hold me on a new vibe Blowing my heart, gotta recalibrate my sunlight Reset. Takers and givers, I've been caught the ladder. But am I really a giver? If I don't give to myself Don't take care of my health Care for everyone else I usually give away my best But get into this reset Get into this reset Get into this reset Take us give us up and call the Get letter. into this reset Yeah I'ma adjust my clock like day, like saving snacks, era unlocked And I ain't playing about me You think I'm acting brand new But this was me before you Ain't nothing to start over Hold me on a new vibe She blowing my high Gotta recalibrate my sunlight Yeah Reset Take a break, recalibrate, forgive her Trip the road from Stockton to Stockholm Yeah, peace and grace to travel safe through time zones Just my clock, like day, like saving snacks Era unlocked, and I ain't playing about me You think I'm acting brand new What this was me before you ain't
unloading all of the product now i'm basically putting all the hose back i think i only had to use about one hose for this um yeah one hose at no matter of fact i had to use two hose at that customer there but sometimes you may have to use all of your hoses okay um and as you can see this is the green suit that we have to wear when we're down when we're unloading the chemicals uh and then normally after six months they give you like this red suit that's like way better than the green suit a lot of people hate wearing the green suit especially during the summertime so you know this is just me just taking off everything um while i'm at the customer i want to say that i was in either new jersey or new york it was one of them but yep and as you can see you know we don't we can't put on just regular boots you know we got to wear those rubber boots and stuff so you know that was the job guys that's the job but anyway i want to thank you guys so much for watching and being patient with your girl i know it's been about two weeks since i put a video out y'all know i love y'all i appreciate y'all just checking up on me it does mean a lot to me so um if you guys have any questions make sure you leave them down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. But I have been very, very busy lately, okay? But much love to you guys. Show me some love in the comments. Say hey. Um, yes. So see you guys later. Talk to well, talk to you later. Bye.